Hello, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about how driving anxiety has nothing to do with driving anxiety. This is something that people contact me about all the time, because if you don't know, I'm both a professional driving instructor and a professional therapist, and I specialise in helping people overcome driving anxiety. The single biggest problem that I have is people have come to me and they're convinced it's something to do with driving. Let me make it clear, your driving anxiety has nothing to do with driving. You might say when I'm driving on roads like this I get anxious because it's so narrow or I don't know where I am. Sometimes people don't like these tight twisty country lanes but the driving has absolutely nothing to do with it. This is why if you go to a driving instructor they can't help you because all they'll do is drive around with you saying you're okay, you're okay. It's not going to fix it because that isn't the problem in the first place. They're just making the problem worse, they're exacerbating it. So what we're going to do when we do therapy is find what the real cause of the problem is. Now disappointingly, when you go to therapists, they often fall into the same trap because there are many poor therapists out there who don't know what they're doing. And a lot of therapists will immediately start doing things like using hypnosis and saying to you, I want you to imagine you're driving a car but the car has magically transformed into a big, white, fluffy cloud and you feel so calm and so safe when you're driving. That is complete rubbish. It's not going to get you anywhere. That is not what hypnosis is all about. Right, it's not about the driving issue. The driving has got nothing to do with it. Your driving anxiety is a symptom. That's how the problem shows itself. It's got nothing to do with driving itself. I'm going to go down this road and I'll pull up in a moment so I can talk to you a bit better. But I'll be giving you an example of someone who came to me and said something. And when people come to us, they, I know you're not trying to become a therapist, or maybe you are, but just out of interest, when you become a therapist, you can hear a lot of clues in what people say to you. So something you say, which can seem totally insignificant, is actually the most significant thing you've said. When I do consultations with people, they often go on and on about, well, I've been driving for years and this happened and I had this crash and I, I did get a parking ticket once and I don't know if it's something to do with that. And they're going on and on and on and on. And I'm listening, not to what they're saying, but to what they're about to say. And I'm gonna give you an example of that now. I'll pull over here and I'll tell you what a client once said to me. And the cause of this client's driving anxiety is in what they said. So this client said to me, I've been driving for years and years and years and I can't work out what's going on but every time I go over 40 miles an hour I just feel so panicky and I just get nervous and I'm shaking and I'm completely in the dark, I don't know what's causing this and I've just tried thinking about everything I could possibly think of but my heart's racing, my stomach aches, my head's thumping and I just can't work out for the life of me what it is. Did you get it? Did you hear what the problem was from what they said? If you didn't, never mind, because that's my job. <laughs> but I've just given you the answer to what the problem was in that statement I made. Can anyone spot what that is? If you're a therapist, you might miss it, because it's quite subtle, but it was there. Did you notice? I'm just going to put the windows down, because it's a bit warm. That's not a clue. That's just going to put the windows down, because it's warm. <laughs> Did you notice what the problem was? If that person had gone to a driving instructor, they'd have wasted hours and hours and hours and the instructor scratching their head saying, you're okay, you're okay, just cope with it, you'll be fine, not gonna work. You go to a therapist and they can do all this rubbish about you, you're walking down a staircase, 10, 9, 8, 7, and you're piloting a cloud and you feel so relaxed. Rubbish, not gonna work. Okay, you must listen to what people are saying when you're a therapist. And I told you in that statement what was causing the problem. I'll give you a clue. It went back over 30 years ago to something that happened in childhood that had nothing to do with driving whatsoever. And that was the cause of the driving anxiety. Your driving anxiety has got nothing to do with driving. And the more you look for a driving problem, the less you'll find it. Check out these other videos on the screen now for more help with driving anxiety or book a one-to-one -one consultation with me through the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you again soon for more videos.